Greetings FCC family, this is Evelyn. Thank you for joining us on our Abiding in Jesus journey through John. Let's begin once again by remembering Jesus' promise to us from John 17, verse 7 and 8. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. And now as we prepare our hearts to hear and read the living word of the Lord, allow me to pray for us. Dear God, I believe we exist only because of you, and I want to thank you for the gift of life. We've been blessed with many wonderful people and things in our lives. We are eternally grateful for everything you've provided for us with much thanks from your creations. Amen. Our reading today, March 26, is from John chapter 11, beginning at verse 45. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and seen what he had did, believed in him, but some went to the Pharisees and told him what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, what are we to do? For this man performs many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him and the Romans will come on and take away our place and nation. But one of them, Siphas, who was, our, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing at all, nor do you understand that it is better for you that one man should die for the people, not that the whole nation should perish. He did not say this of his own accord, but being the high priest that year, he had prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation, and not for the own nation only, but also to gather into one the children of God who are scattered abroad. So from that day on, they made plans to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer walked openly among the Jews, but went from there to the region near the wilderness, to a town called Ephraim, and there he stayed with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and saying to one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast at all? Now the chief priests had given the, and the Pharisees had given the orders that if anyone knew where he was, he should let them know so that they might arrest them. Amen. May the Lord give us, give each of us ears to hear his word. Thank you for joining me for today's Abiding in Jesus. I hope you have a good day.